Let's go, ZVP. Let's kick some butt. Hurt one. Thank you for the 23 month resub. It was a, a four minute Roach Ravager link. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, Ravager all ins are just as good as the um, the other ones. Just as good as the, the Baneling boss, if not better. It's just a little harder to sneak across the map, is the uh, the differential, right? So the Banelings are easier to surprise the opponent with, but the, the Ravager is just. You got three Ravagers or two, a bunch of Roaches and Ravagers at their base, obviously, it's got more sustain. Go, go. Let's just double check. Rangan says go, go. Cool. I, I'm not gonna. I, I never start a game if someone said go, go like 30 seconds earlier. I'm not gonna just start it. I'm gonna like double check again. Make sure they're watching and responding. <coughs> All right. My second one of this off. It's black. I can't see what you guys are saying. Even with a two minute delay, got to get in the zone. Get in the zone. All right, let's dictate the pace of the game. Uh, be aggressive. As much as I'm trying to focus on all of my defensive reactions being, you know, better and better and better each game, um, I'm also also trying to remind myself that yeah, reacting to things is good. Let's try and improve those reactions. Let's also try to put pressure on my opponent um, at every opportunity because that's what's going to make this uh, a different sort of game. If I don't do that. You know, and I just get stuck in this mindset of like, oh, just sitting here, just sitting here doing, doing the thing. That's where, that's where Starcraft gets really hard. So, basically, let's not give him a free pass. 16 hatch is down. All right. Already getting that down, that's that's a good start. Now, if that was blocked, I was going to go immediately to the third, but I was also going to drop the gas almost immediately there, which would have been my way of preparing to do um, fast Ling Floods and other shenanigans. So we're just double checking. There's nothing out there. Get out. Get out. Get out of my base. Get out. Get out. Get out of my base. Keeping an eye out for that the potential bullshit. Alright, that's not upgrading yet. Complete, ready to creep. Oops. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack. Your base is under attack. Under attack. Just go kill them. Stargate Oracle first. Your forces are under attack. All right, here we go. So we're gonna make a uh, evolution complete. Bunch of dudes. Your queen's ready to vomit larva. Don't forget to macro. 
sweet hidden shade because he's panicked. That's what I was talking about with applying pressure. And we now know it's two oracles, which is good. And now we can get a probe as well. Like I rallied a drone into its death. Okay. Uh, it's 5:30 right now. He's going to be slightly delayed. Still got a few seconds. Not a lot. Yeah, we've got to make uh, virtues right now. You're being attacked. Don't forget to macro. You can't build there. Making more roaches. Let's make one more queen, shall we? Your forces are under attack. It's a lot of gateways, right? Was that one, two, three, four, five? No, it's not that many. Go kill them. Queen complete, ready to creep. Evolution complete. Ten more drones, that's a big economy. And there we go. Your queen's ready to vomit larva. Don't forget to macro. You're under attack. Just go kill them. Evolution complete. Your Zerg are now almost as a Keep those creep tumors alive. A creep mineral red patch just went Zerg foot. Your under drones attack. are under attack. Lift off burrow or elsewhere. Your forces are under attack.
A mineral patch just went kaput. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack! Keep those creep tumors alive. Creep is the red carpet of the Zerg world. Your mutation is finished. And I mean that in a good way. Creep tumor under, under attack. attack. Mineral... Okay, come and find me, you fucker. Fire, and wishing you had burrow. You're being attacked. Don't forget to macro. Mutation complete. Queen complete. Punish the enemy attacking your base. Mineral. You're under attack. Just go kill them. What are you doing, pig? Why are you so bad at this composition? What the fuck? Seriously. It's like my opponent just needs to fucking not fight me and I'll just be like, Arr! It's really triggering, man. What the fuck am I doing? Ugh. This has been every ZBP for the last few months, man. Okay, yeah. You're being attacked. Your are being attacked. I don't know how my hotkeys keep getting mixed up as well, man. You're under attack. Just go kill them. Your forces are under attack. Creep tumor under attack. Mineral fuel empty. Sacrifice those workers to free up supplies. Your mutation is finished. And I mean that in a good way. The mineral patch just went kaput. Mineral field depleted. Creep tumor under attack. And it feels super sticky, but I don't want to blame that for oh, no, the absolutely horrendous How engagements that I've been taking over and over again here. I think I just need to be more aggressive, because the moment they start dictating this stuff, I seem to get really confused with my control groups. It's like, just split your fucking army up, it's not that hard, man. Your drones are under attack! <sighs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> Forces are under attack. You're under attack. Just go kill them. You're being attacked. Don't forget to macro. The enemy mutation. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack. <laughs> you're under attack. Just go kill them. You're under attack. Lift off. Burrow. Corbell 
elsewhere. Yeah, he's that far ahead, man. <laughs> Don't forget to macro. A mineral patch. <laughs> I was like, just maybe? Just maybe? Alright, that's cool. We did a good fight towards the end of that game. Just do a quick rewind there, because, I mean, the opening, it looked really good for me. <clears throat> but then I just get a bit too confused about what I'm doing next. So let's just remember that if we just hit a Ravager Baneling attack as standard, like, we will just win the game. And we can just rally Roaches to deal with that. So, I mean, this was a fantastic situation, I think, opening-wise. Um... Obviously, he did a good job with his probes as well. It's still got a third up. Wasn't massively behind or anything. Definitely, I think we could have drawn that fourth a bit faster to get ahead in this scenario, right? But from there, it should have been, all right, let's go. Let's go dominate this game. And <clears throat> somehow the, the Zealot Warp in point just really fucked me up. So let's be a little bit more careful. And, um, and, uh, and let's just split that big squad off. I'm going to put that squad on a different hockey. We're going to put that on number eight. And, um, and see what we can do with that. <clears throat> um, I know Ravager Bane is the better composition, so it's just going to take me a little bit to get used to it after playing the, the Hydra Lurker style for so long. Uh, all right. Go, go. Let's go. Let's play some proper fucking Starcraft, shall we? <clears throat> he built he built a couple cannons at his third, which is well done. But um, I think trying to kill their third is not what I want to do with my aggression. But it's I, I want to keep them off a of fourth and keep hitting their worker lines and try to make them a bit more all in. I always feel a, more, a lot more comfortable when we're trading with Ravager Bane. When we're not trading, I do feel a little bit awkward. Because I don't actually feel comfortable with that transition up to Hive. Um, I'd be much better off just having a, a really high work account. It's kind of my, my game. Now, I don't think there was anything special that came out of my opponent in that last game. I don't think there was any moment where I was like, Oh yeah, this is like fucking incredible play that I can't deal with. It was very typical oracle play but that means this map is where it's much more likely to be you know cheesy times coming out right um this is a gigantic map so we can get away with that 17 hatch it takes a long time for them to get across here i would still normally go 16 hatch but uh you can see that gate scout coming across the map now uh we're gonna take this gas geyser because they can cannon down there there's a pretty brutal cannon spot on this map Please run through the mineral line. I don't think it's a cannon rush. We didn't start. We didn't have the money straight away. Your queen's ready to vomit larva. Queen complete. Oh, 
attacking your base, start freaking out! Big map. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack! Evolution complete. Queen complete, ready to breathe. Your forces are under attack. You're under attack. Just go kill them. Queen complete. Complete, ready to creep. Same opening, awesome. Where are my roaches at? Your queen's ready to vomit larva. Creep tumor under attack. Evolution complete. Your drone doesn't have space to grow. Keep those creep tumors alive. Creep is the red carpet of the Zerg world. Your mutation is... You're being attacked. Don't forget to macro. Creep tumor under attack. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack!
Mineral field empty. Send those workers to a new base. Mutation complete. doesn't have space. Upgrade complete. Mineral field empty. Sacrifice of The mineral patch just went complete. Forces are under attack. Mineral field empty. Mineral field depleted. No, our base is under attack. How does this happen? <laughs> Your forces are under attack. <laughs> Your mutation is finished. <laughs> mutation complete. Under attack. Just go kill them. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack. those workers to a new base. Your forces are under attack. Your queen's ready to vomit larva. Mineral <laughs> Evolution complete. Mineral. Sacrifice those workers to free up 
tumor under attack. Mineral field empty. Send those workers to a new base. Your creep tumor is under attack. The world just became a little less purple. You're being attacked. Don't forget to macro. You're Keep under those attack. creep tumors alive. Just go creep You're under the red carpet of the Zerg world. I'm like, look, he's just trying to cue shit up, and because he's not doing any one-dimensional, uh, or one-directional, I should say, firm pushes, I was like, okay, like, he's just, he's sitting back so much that I gotta take advantage of this. Let's just go to 85 drones, and, um, let's take advantage of the fact that, you know, if we're not dealing with any frontal pushes that are really forcing my army back, well, guess what? You know, we've gotta basically just start rolling banes in off a gigantic economy, and there's no way he can kind of maintain parity with that. Because we're up at 85 drones, um, you know, at the six minute mark. Well, eight, sorry, nine minute mark. We're at 85 drones, I think. Let's let's just double check my work account. Did I actually get to the work account that I thought I was? A little bit lower, about 78, 77. Yeah, because I'm delaying the gases so long, my work account, and I didn't finish saturating that. So my work account was not as good as it should have been. Yeah. Let's remember to saturate the gases on the fourth for the transition. Would be uh, pretty important. All right, what's the final map? Simulacrum, right? I think it's Simulacrum, yeah. So this is obviously going to be the aggressive map. Um, this is going to be the map where we, you know, potentially some poo-poo happens. Um, so we'll have to play very safe. Um, <clears throat> still felt pretty awkward with how I used my army there, but that's just kind of how it goes. We'll get better at it with time. Ah, <sighs> good luck, have fun. Some good games. It's kind of cool to play someone who's just like, I am doing my honorable oracle play. <sighs> Let's see if he does it again here. <clears throat> good luck and have fun. So he could block me. Since we aren't going down to secure that hatch for 15, we're doing it at 16. So let's see. You gonna block it, boy? No. No block. It. It's doing the exact same opening as far as we can tell. Clearly has a comfort zone. I've been respecting the cannon rush so much every game. It would actually be really silly for him to cannon rush in my opinion, but maybe he just has a good one, and that's why I am continuing to respect it. Obviously that was me just getting a little bit excited there. Um, I don't think we're playing against cannons. If we are. Yeah. So you go two queens, then four lings straight away. This guy's gonna come out there. So this guy can go there, there. Quick 
queen complete, ready okay. to creep. Evolution complete. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack! You're being attacked. Don't forget to macro. Queen complete, ready to creep. Your forces are under attack. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack! Under fire and wishing you had burrow. Your drones are under attack. Nice multitask, pig. You're under attack. Just go kill them. Forces are under attack. Yours. I don't mean to interrupt, but you're under attack! Your forces are under attack. Got it. After the Ling attack at the start, which was obviously just a, you know, something I'd planned from the start was let's do a big Ling attack. I have this habit, even though I'm playing with delay, where just in case my opponent's uh, stream cheating, 
Where I'm like, oh yeah, this map, he could get aggressive, I've got to play super safe. Um, where in actual fact, what that means, if you've watched enough of my stream when I'm streaming a tournament, is... I'm gonna do something really aggressive to fuck up his build order. Um, <laughs> because something like the Glaive of Death build could come out, and on this map it's so fucking hard to deal with. So I was like, let's just build 10, 12 Zerglings early, get over there, try to fuck up his build order, make him think it's an all-in if possible, but most importantly just kill a bunch of probes. And we did that, we denied mine and we killed like seven probes, forced gateways and a battery walling himself in. And then I tried to drone behind it. Now I was a bit shitty on my Overlord production and I forgot my third queen behind it. I thought I built the third queen, apparently didn't quite have enough money. Um, and I was obviously very greedy behind that. I was like, cool, let's hope we fucked up his build enough that we can go almost to 50 drones and then make roaches with a really fast roach speed. And uh, it was just a little bit slow getting those roaches out. So obviously we did lose a bunch of guys, but we didn't really lose any army. And even though I was a bit bad at moving my army around because I was like, fuck. Um, we did manage to consolidate. So what I should have done is get those drones from the third base that were hiding back to the natural and then just have one squad in the main, one squad at the natural and you shift those squads. So if you can push the adepts on the front far enough back, the squad in the main can move down to cover the natural, basically covering the shades and the other squad can chase them off creep and push them way out of there. Oh, GG, well played, mate. <sighs> Scary games. Very close. Whew. Uh, thank you very much, the Rangan, for the, uh, the nice, he says, GG's, good luck, good luck. Um, awesome. Good, good respectful macro games there from my opponent. Some good build orders, he executed well. Uh, but we did manage to, thankfully, thankfully managed to, to take advantage in that last one.